Hello everyone, once again this is Fern of Facing the Furies and I am going to talk about my overdrive pedals and my drive section today. Once again I'll be playing on a PRS SE Custom 22 Semi Hollow through a Line 6 pod set on the Matchless Chieftain uh, model. And uh, that is going to be... let me show you the clean sound first before we begin. I am playing on the bridge pickup, uh, which is a humbucker. And let me just go through the pedals really quick and show you what uh, what they sound like. Soul food is a low is my my first uh, stage gain, which is a low overdrive. That's the soul food. Uh, that was with a little bit of chorus and delay added to it. Uh, now we're going to do the full the full tone full drive two, which is my second stage overdrive, uh, second and third stage overdrive, depending on the setting that I'm playing. Uh, once again, clean sound. So that's the full tone, full drive two. Uh, now we're gonna go to the OCD and uh, hang on. I use the OCD as my third, third stage gain or second, depending on the setting I'm in. Uh, with facing the Furies, this is actually my primary overdrive. <laughs> So that's the OCD. Uh, RAT, which is uh, just kind of a metal distortion for, for lack of a better explanation. Adding a little bit of delay to it. So that's the rat. And uh, the last uh, drive pedal that I have is an Ibanez FZ7 Fuzz, uh, which is really only used as an effect. I don't really use it as a as a main drive or anything. I have it set. Kind of, it, it sounds kind of extreme at any setting, really. So, uh, so that's what it is. So that is the Ibanez FZ7 Fuzz. Um, now I do run all of these drives through a compressor. Uh, right now I'm using that little yellow pedal, which is a mower yellow comp pedal. It's supposed to be cloned after the diamond compressor. I run the compression uh, really to just, I run it after the drives to just smooth everything out and uh, prevent any surprising or unwanted volume changes uh, between each pedal and uh, even between the on and the off settings on some of the pedals. Uh, in the studio it's not that hard to get everything really perfectly even at unity gain, but live sometimes it's not, you know, there's variances so uh, the compressor tends to even those out. All right, now there was a question specifically related to stacking drives uh, on one of the the Gear Talk forums, and specifically this was about how to use a Soul Food stacked with either the Full Drive Two or the OCD. Uh, in that case, the best way to use the Soul Food is more of a clean boost. So uh, I've got uh, the volume at noon and the drive at nine o'clock. So I'm going to reverse those two positions.
actually that the volume is at noon and the drive is at nine o'clock which is kind of the way you would want to use it for for a clean boost setting so here's the clean tone here's with the soul food as a clean boost all right now full drive two on its regular od channel So that's uh, that's what the Soul Food sounds like stacked with the Full Drive 2. Uh, it adds uh, just enough of a boost uh, hitting the front end of the pedal that you get uh, you get two totally different gain stages. I like using it in cer in certain situations. I like using this better than just the regular boost channel on the Full Drive 2. you notice I'm not sure if uh, if the YouTube compression will allow you to hear it but if you notice uh, when you use the soul food boost it adds more trouble uh, than the boost channel on the FD2 and that tends to cut through the mix a little bit better so you don't have to you don't have to pump it up all that high to be heard if you're doing solos or fills it, it works out a little bit better that way So I've noticed that the boost on the full drive two works a lot better for more of a rhythm player. Uh, I don't, I personally don't find it that that suitable for lead boost. Uh, now let's do it with the OD. I'm gonna lower the drive on the OD just a bit. Sorry, the OCD. Um, I've noticed that with any drive pedal, you kind of have to lower the gain or the drive setting on it uh, quite a bit so that there is an actual difference when you engage the soul food. Clean tone. OCD. Here we got the volume at about 9 o'clock and then drive at about 10 o'clock. So you can basically use this as a boost and turn any pedal into a, a two-stage overdrive. Uh, the Sofu will add just enough gain, as much gain as you need it to add, and you can tailor the treble knob to suit your taste for whatever you're going to do. Uh, one neat thing about using it this way is that your your two two-stage pedals, like the Full Drive Two, and uh, some some people are using like the JHS uh, Sweet T, which has an 808 side and an Angry Charlie side. You can turn that into a three-stage pedal. Uh, it does get pretty pretty noisy at that point, and so I would have to engage my uh, my noise gate at that point. But you can do it that way. Uh, so anyway, that's just uh, a really quick run through of my drive section, how I use the drive sections, and uh, uh, soon I might do a video talking about each one of them individually uh, and a little bit more in depth, but for now, uh, this is hopefully helpful to some of you guys who were asking the questions on P-dubs and some of the other Gear Talk pages. Uh, once again, my name is Fern. Uh, I'm the lead guitarist for Facing the Furies. If you guys want to chat further, have any questions, uh, you can connect with me on Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash facing the furies. Uh, you can do it here through my YouTube channel, or you can always tag me uh, on the Gear Talk uh, groups on Facebook. Um, thanks again for watching the video. You guys keep rocking on.